how how do you see sort of wrestling through people like a Jonathan Edwards mm -hmm. uh, holding holding slaves? Mm -hmm. And we look back and we see how much of of our theology has come from people with huge blind spots. Yeah. And there's a sense in which we always say, well, take into account this person is a person of his or her time and so forth. Right. But often the very people who are saying that will not have any difference with somebody when it comes to, you know, are, are you on board with this politics or, or whatever right. it is? And then right. it becomes an immediate sort of uh, separation. How, how do we think through that? Yeah. What, what I've learned is that two things can both be true. It can be true that a person is brilliant in so many areas and still be deftly wrong in another. Um, and and that is a testament to why I think we are we we do need one another. I think it's why we are called a body because we're supposed to be interdependent upon one another to see the areas where we fall short. Um, when you have a person, take for instance a Jonathan Edwards or George Whitfield or whoever, um, who would see no need or sense to be interdependent with an African-American believer at that point in their, in history, well, it'd be easy to see why there'd be a massive blind spot because there's no need. Why, why would I need to be dependent upon them? What vantage point or benefit would they be able to provide me? But when we're interconnected and codependent upon one another for van vantage points and views, I think we're more healthy. We, we function in a healthier way. And I've, I've seen that in my own life. It's, we have to be okay with wrestling with the nuance in order to get to a healthy place. And I, I use this analogy all the time. I went to Paris for the first time and I couldn't speak the language. I didn't understand it. Um, this is before Google Translate. Mm -hmm. And so I just was, I was struggling and I wanted to eat a great meal, uh, but I didn't know, I couldn't read the menu. I just, I, and so I, opted for American fast food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just, it was easier. Yeah. And I think that's a picture of what we tend to do when something is difficult and hard to wrestle with, we'll opt for what's easy and convenient. Huh. Um, and whether that's political, uh, sociological, whatever, it's like, well, this is too hard to wrestle with. So I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm moving on. That is a great metaphor. <laughs> That, that is exactly right.